So um, my name is Mule Musao. I'm the national coordinator for the Elections Observation Group uh, currently. And on the occasion that the Elections Observation Group is uh, celebrating its 10th year, having come into office in uh, April of 2010, uh, just before the referendum. I wanted to share my experiences um, about the platform, uh, what my experiences are, my personal experiences within the LLOG uh, fraternity, uh, the interactions that we have, some of the challenges, a few challenges that we've been having, and uh, looking forward where uh, I hope that LLOG will be headed. Um, I came in um, as a part of a core team that was mobilized uh, to support the election observation platform which had just been founded uh, that was in March in 20, uh, 2010. So we were part of a technical team that went on to form the first secretariat uh, that ran the platform and that has run the platform for the, over the last 10 years. I joined it as, as part of what we were calling the parallel vote tabulation core team uh, that prepared the deployment of the PVT methodology in the 2010 referendum. Suffice it to say that um, uh, the observation of the 2010 referendum was a very successful um, undertaking by ELOG. It was the first major activity that ELOG was involved in. We deployed over 10,000 observers who were called general observers and we had just under 1,000 uh, PVT observers. Uh, our projections in 2010 on the referendum were nearly spot on, recorded quite a very good um, projection in terms of the estimates, and um, our general observation was, was able to also comp quite a number of issues which were affecting the country um, at that particular time. Since 2013, uh, LOG has continued, uh, since it had been established as a permanent observation uh, platform, uh, we have continued um, observing elections using the electoral cycle approach, uh, despite, of course, uh, earlier um, instances where funding was a problem, which is still a problem even as we speak, but um, we managed to patch up in between the elections to be able to observe one elections here. Uh, there were some times that would just sit in the office without doing anything. Uh, uh, basically just browsing to, to see whether there would be any activity uh, that we could be able to do, um, an electoral, a by-election here, another election um, somewhere else. But cumulatively, over the years, uh, because we went on to observe the 2013 elections, we also went on to observe the 2017 uh, general elections, uh, which were historic in their nature, in the fact that uh, we had two elections at the presidency level. Um, after disputes uh, led to an nullification by the Supreme Court um, of the first election. Uh, so cumulatively, we've been able to train more than 25,000 citizen election monitors who are spread all over the country. These observers include teachers, they include farmers, peasants, uh, they include young people who just left school who were able to join the platform. But it also includes some very well-educated uh, individual volunteers who have participated in our programs as observers, as supervisors, and otherwise. And that forms um, a kind of a community of practice as far as uh, uh, the Kenyans' citizens are concerned. And uh, of course, um, it is a way in which knowledge around electoral processes has been shared across the country. That is a major um, success by ELOG to have trained this number of people. And um, the ELOG institution itself has also grown. We've had uh, from the initial five members who formed um, ELOG, uh, it's grown to have 10 steering committee members currently uh, with six members who are thematic, but many more who are applying to participate in the processes as we speak. So it is grown in stature, it is grown institution-wise, it is also grown in terms of membership but more importantly, it has trained quite a number of Kenyans out there to be able to be vigilant on electoral process. And we have kept our presence in the country over the last uh, 10 years. Um, in terms of uh, uh, other affiliations that ELOG has been able to have, is that um, we have uh, been 
able to uh, we have been able to have um, uh, we've been we've been able to have uh, quite a number of uh, uh, affiliations. Uh, we are not only observed in the country, but we have also gone on to observe regional elections. We formed in 2013. Elog um, was among the members who pioneered the Eastern Horn of Africa Election Observers Network called IHON. Uh, which is uh, represents citizen election platforms in the East and uh, uh, Horn of Africa region. We have Sudan and South Sudan, uh, Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya being represented by various organizations. And we also have Burundi, Rwanda, and Eritrea and Ethiopia holding uh, observer status in the, in, the, in the formation. And through this outfit, we were able to observe the 2015 Tanzanian elections. Um, uh, as a team from the mission, the first time a, a, a mission of citizen election observers were able to be mobilized to observe a regional election. But we have also participated effectively because of a number of other elections, the inaugural elections in South Sudan in 2011. Um, we were able to observe the processes in Kenya and uh, we have also been able to send a number of our expert members because the accumulated knowledge, technical expertise in terms of conducting elections, deploying, deployment of teams, training of teams within the ELOC Secretariat and within its ranks has been a useful tool uh, to deploy in different parts of the continent, notably in Nigeria, in Ghana, in um, uh, Uganda, Tanzania, uh, as well as in Zamb Zambia, Zimbabwe, and uh, including Malawi. So. We have had a number of personnel who have gone to those different uh, countries to share the expertise with other citizen election observer groups or organizations that are uh, needed uh, to be supported. So that's a major milestone um, that has been achieved by the election observation group. And um, uh, so what does the future portend as far as the election observation uh, group is concerned? Uh, of course, we are seeing a, a increasingly a lot of challenges which are coming through in terms of observing modern elections at the moment. We've had um, uh, uh, elections now which are driven by technology. Uh, elections are also being held, increasingly being held in very fluid environments where um, changes quickly occur. Uh, we have uh, a lot of disputes which are emerging. Uh, the last two elections, for instance, in Kenya, you've seen dispute in terms of the presidential, presidential election. Second one in 2017, uh, culminating in the nullification of the initial election and uh, forcing uh, the election management body to hold new fresh elections. So there have been quite a number of challenges. Uh, uh, the aspects or the incidences of rigging elections in the continent uh, have kept moving from one thing to the other. Uh, we have tried to keep a pace with some of those things, including some of the changes which have been done by the commissions. For instance, the use of biometric uh, voter registers uh, to be able to um, uh, register voters. So we've been able to try to, pick, to keep a pace with much, much of that development, although there's still a lot of work which needs to be done. Uh, so in the future, of course, we are hoping that ELOG and other citizen election observation uh, uh, platforms in the continent will continue to grow in stature, will uh, build their capacity as far as these new developments are concerned, will become much more closer to the people because the aim of election of domestic election observation is to ensure uh, that the citizens of a country can be able to hold electoral processes, uh, hold uh, uh, managers into account and just to ensure that electoral processes pass the integrity test so that the new leadership that assumes the mantle uh, in a country is one that has gone through a process uh, in which there was clear uh, and credible uh, and predictable processes. I thank you. We'll be, uh, we of course, we'll continue comparing notes in terms of uh, what uh, the future portends in terms of election observation, but that's it for now.